What is up guys, Frankie here uh, with a brand new haircut, thank goodness, because I had quite the uh, mullet going on, so I'm glad to get rid of that. Uh, but today is going to be an update video. I feel like just uh, informing you some things that are going on with the channel, going on with me. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to watch a video or minimize and you know watch some YouTube or play some Clash Clans, I don't really care, but. Speaking of which, I haven't even opened up Clash Clans in, in a long ass time. Look, oh my God, I dropped down to 3000 trophies. Um, I just have some things that I wanted to discuss, so stick around and uh, hopefully uh, this information is relevant to you. Can you hear my cats fighting? I just heard my cats fighting. But yeah, so first things first, uh, the contest is still on, so don't worry about that. Once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I will definitely be pulling down the video or making it private. So everybody who first jumped into the contest will have the same chance of winning as what they would have had once we hit the 1,000 milestone. So don't worry about that. Everybody will have that equal opportunity. Um, and I am prepared for a, a, a mass unsubscribe after the contest because, you know, people like free stuff. I totally understand. So if that's your thing, by all means. But I hope that something else on this channel uh, convinces you to stick around otherwise. And of course, there will be other contests in the future. I'm thinking 2,500 if that's ever possible. If it is, oh my god, that'd be amazing. Maybe even 5,000. Beyond that, that's not something really in scope that I'm thinking about, but if we pass the 1,000 milestone and, you know, this contest goes well, then 2,500, yeah, that'll be the next, uh, the next thing. So make sure you stick around for that if you do so. Uh, so next thing, I have a list of things I gotta talk to you guys about here on my phone. So first of all, I got a new camera. As you can tell, the quality is amazing. I can do this. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, it's an Icon Z30 and uh, it only shoots in 4K 30 instead of 4K 60, but 30 isn't too bad. And then when I do do 60 FPS footage with like my GoPro or my phone during these retro game hunts, then I will be able to get a nice slow motion effect as I uh, basically reduce the frame rate to 50%. And so yeah, so that's cool. So I got a camera, I got this new uh, lavalier mic right here, which is a part of this. This is called a Hollyland Lark C1, I believe, but it's like half the price of the other competitors from like Rode and uh, DJI, I'm not sure who else makes mics really, because um, I don't know the, the camera front and I'm learning this as I go, so bear with me. But yeah, this mic is actually pretty good and hopefully you can tell by the sound quality that it is awesome. That of course also means I can use it with my GoPro, which I've tested out and everything works fine. So that way I don't have to stop the recording, flip it, stop the recording, flip it again. Um, it'll always be right here on me. And there's actually two. Okay, how do you make this focus? See, right there. There's actually two. So focus back on my face. So there's actually two there, so I can actually put one on Leia when we're doing other things or when both of our uh, conversations are relevant. So that is awesome. But of course, with this new camera equipment comes uh, quite a big cost. So I haven't really had the money to go out and make a new uh, retro game video as all this money has been poured into the production of my videos. And uh, as you can see, I even made a little bit of a backdrop here. So, you know, I just got a couple of my consoles. I literally just nailed this gigantic board into the wall with these giant uh, anchors here <laughs> or L brackets. So it's a really homemade shelf, but hey, it's awesome. And you can kind of see my Dragon Ball characters up there too. So yeah. Otherwise the production of these videos will be much better. So hopefully uh, you guys appreciate that because I, I just like making videos <laughs> and I like retro game hunting. You know me, that's just who I am. So there is a new retro game hunting video that I'm going to be making. It is currently, what day of the week is it? Ah, it's Saturday. So tomorrow, which is Sunday, I'm going to be going out with uh, Dad and Leia and uh, probably Abby, I'm not sure. Um, so we'll be hitting all the book-offs that are in Okayama because I haven't really done any book-off videos here in the province that I live in. So I believe there there might be four. I know there's definitely three, but I believe there's one out in Karashki. Dad wants to visit as well. Um, as for hard-offs, we don't really have anything good for hard-offs here. The one that I know of that I've been to kind of sucks, so I'm just going to skip that. It's going to be a book-off only, basically. And uh, yesterday, we actually visited um, Second Street, which uh, might actually be fun to visit once in a while. It's just basically this gigantic used store, uh, thrift store, kind of like, I guess you could say, Sally Ann or Value Village in North America. Um, but it's absolutely gigantic, and we found some pretty cool stuff there. Like, I found an old uh, school Pokedex toy. Um, oh, oh my god, speaking of which... I found this there, which is so obscure. This is called an Ultima phone, I believe. And I play guitar, right? So music is my thing. I know what these are. So literally, basically, you open this guy's mouth and you go. And yeah, it's supposed to be some strange uh, music, musical instrument. I don't know what I'd ever use this for, but it was like $15. Usually these things are more expensive on Amazon. So yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that's kind of weird. They didn't really have much in there for games, but they did have a couple toys and stuff. So yeah, if you guys ever want to see going to places like that, more like thrift shops, because they did have a lot of cool like home appliances, they had a lot of cool home furniture, um, some cool kitchen stuff that Leigh and I were so tempted to buy, but we we're driving and uh, Dad was taking us in the second company car, which is absolutely puny. So yeah, we couldn't fit anything in there other than the stuff we had in the bag. So there's that. So yeah, look forward to the new uh, retro game video, which would be number episode seven, I believe. Uh, number seven should come out. The following week, I'm recording it tomorrow, but I do work Monday, Tuesday, 
Um, I do have Wednesday off and I do have Saturday, Sunday off. So it just kind of depends on how much energy I have and how much chores and stuff I got to do in the meantime. But otherwise the video will come out. So please stay tuned for that. As for future plans for the channel, I do have a couple videos that I'd like to do, which is of course visiting the temples in the area. Cause I do want to make some, you know, just Japan style videos where you're visiting and exploring. So I would want to visit Okayama Castle. I would love to visit the, the temples, show you guys what that's like. Definitely want to go to Tokyo for like a big week long adventure of nothing but retro game hunting, but that depends on how much time we can get off from work. And we are using our vacation time uh, this summer to visit Canada. A lot of stuff has happened and I like to go see them and say hello because I miss them. But otherwise the, the days that we can get, I'm not too sure, but if we can make it, that would be incredible. Tokyo is basically the best place to go for electronics and uh, retro games, basically, especially in Japan. So um, one of the guys in the comment section told me, I think, believe there's like a three story super potato game, which is what? That's insane. How many games is that? Oh my God. Just thinking about it, I'm sweating. I want to go so bad. I have a lot, I do have a lot of ideas, things that I'd like to do. And of course, if there's any style of video you'd like to see, please let me know down below in the comment section because your input obviously helps me and it motivates me to do better at what I'm doing here on YouTube. So yeah, I do enjoy doing this and I will continue to do so regardless of what the future holds. And thanks for watching. Yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.